The Rate Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit thinks DigiKey. Every week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you find the things you are searching for. Lady Ada, what is the Great Search of the Week this week? Okay, so this week, um, I saw this post on social media. Sometimes I just sort of like, you know, see what people are doing. And I thought it was cool. Uh, you know, I keep forgetting DigiKey, they sell for electrical engineers. I'm an electrical engineer. But, you know, they also sell to other people. Uh, you don't have oh. to be an engineer to buy from DigiKey. You can be. Uh, like a mechanical engineer or a chemical engineer. No, just kidding. Uh, you can be any kind of person. But uh, in particular, this was a group of entomologists. These are people who look at bugs and they're like, oh, we need really fine tip tweezers to help uh, look at bugs. I don't know if the bugs are alive or dead, not judging that part. Um, but they're like, we, you know, and I, I see their point. It's actually like, if you are in a city or a town, where would you get fine pitch tweezers? Like you can get tweezers for like, eyebrows and like, you know, whatever hair, like nose tweezers and stuff. But those are usually flat, wide, flat tip. We want like tiny little pointy tweezers, the pointiest tweezers um, that you can get. And uh, let's get them to be a little bit inexpensive, um, make them out of stainless steel. So they are, are durable, although you know, they also have plastic ones. And let's see what's available at DigiKey for bugs. Okay, so let's search for Tweezer. They're called tweezers. This person's called them forceps. They also do carry forceps, uh, but forceps are a little bit different. Um, I'm going to, but then since the photo of what they wanted was a tweezer, I'm going to assume they want tweezers. Forceps are, um, they, they lock with, they're like, they look like scissors, but they have um, little grabby ends and then they usually lock in place. Okay. So um, first off, I searched for tweezers and then I went to the tools tweezer section which has a photo that looks like tweezers. Let's also, let's always start with active because we only want to see stuff that they have in stock. And I also want to see in stock and I'm going to include, exclude marketplace. So it's just something sold by DigiKey so you get like the fastest shipping because we, we need to look at our bugs fast. Um, looking immediately, so many tweezers. There's hundreds, there's tweezer assortments, which also might be, you know, this kind of you know, nice looking assortment. Maybe we'll just get the assortment in case you don't know which kind. This one is the colored assortment. I think we actually covered this on I'm a PI. Uh, and um, I saw some uh, folks at the Adafruit factory uh, lovingly using these. They're like, these are great. So let's, um, so there's like a thousand. So first off, let's look at length overall. Um, so this actually matters because it, it does affect how much it opens, but also like how comfortable it is. You get like tiny tweezers and enormous tweezers, but in general, uh, I find that about four to five inches is kind of the max you want to use. So let's just do three and a half to five and a half. Anything more than that is going to be like way too long or way too short. Next, if we sort by, let's say not quantity, I meant to sort by price. Um, the least expensive tweezers are going to be made out of plastic. You see this, this little feedback thing is kind of in the way. Okay. Um, but you see there's steel, plastic, plastic. So let's remove plastic Hold on, from material. Um, unless you need a specific like ceramic because you're dealing with something that has to be non-magnetic, non-metallic, whatever stainless steel is like, or, you know, titanium, which is kind of nuts. Um, plastic can be good if you're dealing with cold things that you need a soft um, tip. You know, you're not going to get fine pitch, fine tip with a plastic. Um, stainless steel is honestly kind of what most people use. So let's get the stainless steel. And then we want to look at the tips. So this is kind of a blunted tip. This is called a round tip. And this is like a flat. You see, there's, you know, you can get all sorts of tips, but we want very fine or ultra fine. These are um, inverse tweezers. Like you squeeze them and they open. And then when you let go, they squeeze, they, they go shut. So they're the opposite where normally you'd have tweezers to close when you press these open when you press them. Those are kind of cool too. Um, flats weird. I don't even know what you would, I mean, for paper, I don't know. Uh, useful for various reasons. 
But what we want to get is, I want to get like super fine, ultra fine, very fine, extra fine. I'm just control selecting. Let's, let's get these really sh sharp, micro. I mean, the problem is every company is going to come up with their own naming for what, what they call. Serrated or non-serrated? I don't think we need serrated. It looked like they wanted um, flat tip. And then they don't think they wanted the self-closing either. DSD safe is fine, but I think they didn't want serrated or uh, self-closing. Okay, now we're talking. And then do they want bent tip, which are like this, you know, they curve? Or do you want um, straight tip? I think they wanted straight because those images were straight, but some people do like curved for picking up things. I'm not a curved fan, to be honest, but people like it. Angle, bent, curved, straight. Okay. Now we're down to 130. Still a lot of options. Um, I think this is when you would like look at the images to see which one, but it looked like that, you know, they wanted really fine point. I mean, there's a lot to be honest, but I kind of like the look of this one. Um, it's got a nice wide flat area for your hands, but the point comes down to a very, very sharp tip, like ultra sharp. This looks really great. So I think if I was going to suggest one for somebody who's like, look, I need the finest tip, comfortable, but not too expensive, only a couple bucks. And the great thing is you can buy just one at a time. You don't need to buy like 20. Um, and there's no minimum order quantity, pick up this. This is the S5SAK Rubis Tech from Swans Swanstrom Tools USA, four and a half inches long, kind of like right there in the middle, stainless steel, ESD safe, pointed, extra fine, straight tweezers. Yes. That's a great church. Great for bugs. Where is